is a Maplewood business that's been operating since 1991, and over the years they've grown into a wholesale, retail, and mail order enterprise, and they manufacture products that are used across America. Here from Cheryl's Herbs is aromatherapist Brittany True Campbell. Welcome, Brittany. Thank you. So Cheryl's Herbs and aromatherapy and all this stuff, it's like the hot topic right now. I keep hearing about aromatherapy and how important it is for yes. us. Aromatherapy is just taking over and we're all really excited about it. Um, it's the first original nature's medicine and so it's been behind um, the scenes and now it's showing and it's really helping people in beautiful ways. So why do you think people are becoming so conscious of this right now? I believe that the time that we're in right now, people want to be more responsible for their health. Mm -hmm. And healthcare is becoming expensive, and uh, some people may um, just want to find some other alternative ways to heal themselves or mm -hmm. to work with some issues that they have in life. So aromatherapy, I mean, from the name, it's sounds like it's all about smelling different natural aromas, yep. but it's more than that, isn't it? Isn't it oils and teas and things like that? Am I right? You're absolutely right. So aromatherapy is where you're working with the plants, um, more floral energy, and um, you can inhale the plants and it can help to work with you on a mental level. Say if you are fatigued or have anxiety or uh, insomnia, you can't sleep very well. It helps to, whenever you inhale it, it moves through the body to help to relax you or work with you in certain ways, such as lavender. It's really popular mm -hmm. for that. Um, so, yeah, it, it smells nice, but medically it can also help. And it works. And it works. So do you have any personal case studies? Oh, definitely. Um, one of my personal case studies um, is from a young lady. She was suffering from severe asthma. She was about 13 years old, and she would miss sometimes two to three days of school. And so I um, came over to her house, and we worked with eucalyptus, uh, tangerine, and rosemary. And eucalyptus and rosemary are very known um, with the camphor properties to help to work with the respiratory system. Mm -hmm. Tangerine is more like a, a upliftment and it smelled very nice. Mm -hmm. So she began to wear it as a perfume, mm -hmm. but it really began to heal her respiratory system so that she could breathe. Right. So then what happened? Did, was she able to, was, was she taking asthma medication before then? She was taking asthma medication, but it was affecting other areas of her life to where her mother felt that she didn't want her to uh, take it anymore and it was also becoming extremely expensive for them to be in a single parent mm -hmm. household. So she turned to herbs which were readily available and also affordable. So she began to wear it, wore it, uh, wear it and she called me about three days later and said, uh, I was able to go to school today and I wear the perfume and it smells really nice and I feel a lot better. I can breathe now. <laughs> wow, just three days. Yeah, within mm -hmm. three days she began to notice a difference and so we have uh, quite a few people that come in that deal with different issues. Uh, cancer is one of the main um, calls and visits that we get to the shop. Okay. People going through chemotherapy. And so what do you have, what do you suggest to someone who is going through chemo? Um, those that are going through chemo mostly deal with um, issues with their appetite and also um, sleep and just maybe a little bit of depression. So um, I would definitely recommend uh, essential oils such as like frankincense mm -hmm. or lavender, also ginger um, and peppermint for the appetite. Cheryl has a very, very popular tea called Mary's Tea, um, which uh, was made, the recipe is called an Asiac formula and it was created uh, by a Canadian nurse years ago. And she formulated it to help um, cancer patients to beat cancer, to revive the body and to help to rid the toxins that could have caused the cancer in the body. Mm -hmm. So it does work with different people in different ways depending on your lifestyle and what caused your cancer, but it's, it's been a lifesaver for some people. So in the, the place that where you are, what we're talking about is Cheryl's Herbs on Manchester Road, in yes. Maplewood, and people can just come into the store, it's a retail operation, and bring, in, bring your problems, right, and you'll solve them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try our best to solve them, but yes, we're in Maplewood, and we have a beautiful online uh, website, and you can go and check us out and order online if you like. Can you even on the website, I haven't been on it yet, but can you put in your, your, 
your maladies, your symptoms, that kind of thing? Or is it something that you really need to come into the store and talk to somebody or call? I would say call us. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't gotten that savvy yet with uh, email us your, your problems, but we get phone calls all the time, and I love to see people to actually come into the shop. We have a very beautiful library, and uh, we like to see you face-to-face -face and give you literature to educate yourself. Mm, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, definitely we'll be promoting the, the store. I actually can't wait to go myself. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds great. All right, we're going to take a quick break right now, Brittany. We will be back with more about Cheryl's Herbs in just a few moments. Stay tuned to FDL TV.